Monday, August 19, 2019. Hello, dear internet users. Welcome to this other edition of the Press Review on Journal du Cameroon Television, where we will talk most on back to school campaigns in Cameroon's northwest and southwest regions, as headlined by most Anglophone newspapers. We begin with the Eden newspaper, which headlines on Minister Felix Mbayou's back to school campaign initiative in Old Town Bamende last Saturday. According to the Eden newspaper, Felix Mbayou urged the population of Old Town Bamende to turn down school boycott initiatives, saying, and I quote, Education is the only equalizer that put the child of the poor and the rich on the same table in terms of opportunities. We move on to Le Gideon newspaper, which headlines on this question, boldly written in quotes, Lawyers went back to work. Why are we holding on to school? The newspaper calls on authorities and separatists not to compromise children's education in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon for the 2019-2020 academic year. The Guardian Post newspaper on its part headlines on bishops warning separatists against sacrificing children's education this year again as it proposes details on page 3. We continue with the Sun newspaper which, contrarily to the other newspapers earlier reviewed, proposes some moves that have been taken to ensure school resumes effectively in the two Anglophone regions of Cameroon come September 2. According to the Sun newspaper, as the clock winds down to the 2019-2020 academic year in these regions, mobilization is on all fronts despite threats. The paper says Prime Minister Joseph Djangute is to meet with FACO delegation on Tuesday, August 20, and Minat falls in 15 million TFA francs to support FACO children, among others. Talking about something different, let's have the Post newspaper, with which we will end this press review. The Post newspaper comes back on the mutinies that happened last July 22nd, as it proposes a list of those killed, those wounded, untreated inmates as well as the missing corpses on page 3 of its Monday, August 19, 2019 edition. That was the package we had for you today. Don't forget to go to your newsstand for more details. Thanks for watching and see you next time with another interesting reading of Cameron's newspapers headlines.